Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Quiet weather for now, just hot and humid. A typical summer day out there with high heat and high humidity. And that's going to add some fuel to these thunderstorms we're expecting to develop later on today. But right now, all is quiet. Just a mix of sun and clouds. A little hazy out there as well on this hot summer day. 87 the current temperature, but it feels like 97. That's the real feel temperature, all due to that sticky dew point of 75 degrees. So we've issued a severe alert day for today because of the thunderstorm chances we're expecting later on today, late this afternoon and into the evening. Torrential rain just like yesterday and damaging winds will be the primary threats within these storms. Uh, and with all the extra humidity out there, I mean, the rain just comes down at such a heavy clip and that's what we saw yesterday. So flash flooding a possibility. Again, looking at those damaging winds as a possibility as well. So we'll be watching it closely. The Storm Prediction Center has painted the entire area in yellow. That's a level two out of five risk, just like yesterday. Uh, so again, and we're under that severe alert uh, for the chance for these storms. Here's all the heat. Temperatures are already in the 90s for some of us. Brandenburg, Shepherdsville, 90. Paoli, though, 85. Salem, 84. Madison, 81. Lebanon reporting 90 degrees. So a lot of high heat. The humidity makes it feel even worse. Check this out. It feels like it's 102 in Springfield, Bardstown, and Shepherdsville. Heat index not as bad as you move off to the north in Indiana. A little bit cooler there, but still, we're looking at uh, the chance for the strong storms with all that heat and humidity, the unstable atmosphere. And here we go. Look at this. That cluster we've been watching all morning and through the midday hours, it's already intensifying. We have our first severe thunderstorm uh, warnings of the day being issued in Illinois. And uh, the Storm Prediction Center has uh, mentioned that they're likely going to issue a severe thunderstorm watch for our viewing area very shortly. It's probably going to come in within a matter of minutes, so be sure to stay tuned. And a watch just means we just got to watch out. And we are watching. We're watching that cluster of storm activity heading right for us. Here's your 12 hour forecast. We're dry the next few hours, just hot and humid. It's going to feel more like 100 to 105. That's what those orange numbers are. The real field temperature. Then by seven or eight, it's going to start to rain. Thunderstorm chances dropping our temperatures from the 90s to the 70s this evening. And that's when we're expecting uh, the chance for the strong to severe storm. So we're going to wrap these storms up by midnight, then just isolated storm coverage uh, later on tonight down to 74. Tomorrow, it's not going to be as widespread in terms of rain and severe chances. It's just going to be scattered showers tomorrow and a few uh, embedded thunderstorms, a little bit cooler, but still very muggy upper 80s. So here's Futurecast telling the story. Look at that. Uh, area of storminess in Illinois. It begins to intensify as it pushes into Indiana and it arrives in the metro around 6, 7, or 8 o'clock. Again, torrential rain, flash flooding, and damaging winds possible. Then it slips south and we begin to dry out overall as we head into tonight with just that isolated storm chance that will linger. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast because it does show some drier weather. As we head into the second half of the weekend, only a few showers Saturday. Don't cancel plans. And yeah, a heat wave next week with drier weather. Finally, we mm -hmm. get a break from all the severe weather.